Hi everyone, I've come on today to share my sequins and all my sequin stories with you today. So I'm going to whiz through this really quickly and so if you hear any strange noises or banging in the background, my other half is packing up his, all his photography bits because we're going away tonight. So it, just in case you wondered what that was. Firstly I'm going to show you these cup sequins, the craft medley ones. Now I've seen quite a lot of American YouTubers with these and I couldn't find them anywhere. I wasn't too sure how big the packet was, so I ordered some on Amazon. In fact, I ordered all of the sets that they had, not recently, a little while ago. And you don't get very much of each colour, but what I do like is that you get eight different colours and they're already sorted. I'm a little bit of a... I like to organise everything by colour, so this really speaks to me. Now, I'll tell you what I paid for these, and I'll tell you what they're on at the moment for Amazon, in case you're interested. I paid £2.86 for this one, it's £3.10 at the moment. So this is the metallics. Yep, the metallics. Then there are the chocolates. I paid £2.83, and they are, they're quite expensive at the moment, they're £4.36. So I think I'd have paid £4.36 for these, but depends how much you like brown sequins. Then there is the princess collection. So you've got some light pinks, a couple of darker pinks behind the sticker, a couple of purples at the bottom. That's the princess one. I paid £2.83. Again, these are quite expensive at the moment. They're £4.35. There is the viola. So these are the purples. As you can see, I've used quite a few of these already. And they actually, I dropped these, so hence why they're a, they're a bit mixed up. But I haven't got time to sort them out today. So you get eight different types of purple in this one. I paid £2.88. Again, they're up for £4.35 at the moment on Amazon. You might find them elsewhere. That's just where I got them from. This is the baby set. So you get eight different matte sequins this time. So they're not very shiny, but they have got really beautiful, bright colours to these. And I've not seen anything like this anywhere, so that's why I picked these ones up. These ones are £2.83, uh, and they're now £3.34. Then you've got the blacks and the whites. Now I'd, I bought these, and these were £2.83 for me, now they're £3.34. And I'll show you something that I've got instead now, which I think is much better value. So that's the Craft Medley ones anyway, that's the black and white classic collection. Then there's Rouge. Now I paid quite a bit for these, I actually paid £4.50 for these. And it's because I'm a stickler for a set. Because I've got all the rest, I just I couldn't not get these ones. So there's eight different colours of red in this one. They're actually £3.10 now, so you're actually going to get a better deal than I did. have got the blue ones. These are beautiful colours. Blues and greens are my favourite. I love this one. It's very mermaid-esque, these ones here. I paid £2.80, and they don't have these on Amazon at the moment. I'm not sure if that's just because they've sold out and they're not doing them anymore. And then you have the greens. So again, my favourites. Love this one. I used these ones recently. I used this colour, I think it was in a card I made for Jodie Bits Mouse Makes. I've just chucked a few of those in. And then I pay £2.83 for these and again they're up now for £3.34. So that's the craft medley sequins that I have. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in these packages because when you open it, I'll use the purple ones because I've already messed them up anyway. Whoop. When you open these, it opens with all eight compartments. And now, as you can see, I am terribly clumsy and I've already messed this one up. So I might change these and put them into these containers. Now, these are the Anita's Craft Organisers. I get these from the range at 2 99 but Hobbycraft do the exact same ones at 2 99 as well. And you'll see in a moment, most of my sequins are in these because they've got the locks on the side and each compartment is separate. Um, so although you still lift the lid, it's a little bit more sturdy than when you're trying to open this packet. This is a bit of a pain. So that's, as I say, that's the craft medley ones. So the next sequence I'm going to show you are all from the range. Now I'd already bought the craft medley ones before I bought these because I've never been to the range before. There isn't one anywhere near me. I have to go quite far if I want to go to the range. And so my mum and I had taken a big trip up there one day, um, sad I know, and then I found these. So if I zoom slightly, now these are circle tubs of assorted sequins and these are only a pound. So in here, oh, I can get the lid off, you've got four different colours. So in this one you've got like a holographic silver, black, brown and like a whitey clear. It's got a bit of colour to it but it is a little bit clear. So that's the first one. 
Then you have, oh, could help if I opened it the right way. Did that off camera so I didn't throw them everywhere. But three different, or four even, if I could count. These ones I've messed up again as well. I was making a wedding card a while back and it, I was in a rush. Hence all the purple ones being in a mess. Then you have the pinks. So four different shades of pink again. And then you have the greens. Take the lid off these. And these ones I also used in the card for Jodie at Miss Mouse Makes. And the pink ones I used in a very similar card for my sister-in-law when I used the Hunky Dory uh, Fairy, the, the Twilight Kingdom. That's the one. Twilight Kingdom. I made a shaker card with some of these sequins. Now, for a pound, these are brilliant. They are such good value. You get so much more in these, considering this is the green craft medley one. So that cost me three pound, and then you get, although you only get four colours, you're getting so many more in this circle pot. So if you are near a range, I would definitely recommend these. If I chuck the lids on, and then recently, when I was in the range, a little bit more recently, they've changed how they were, their sequins look. So they've still got these ones, but they've also got ones with a slightly different label that look like this. And these ones, on oh Matt, I can't get this one off because I haven't taken the tape off yet. But if I just show you going round, so four different matte shades there, like a grey, a purple, a blue, and a, like a turquoise green, blue colour. And then this one you have an off-white, a golden colour, peach, like a, a apricot yellow so again only a pound for these so most definitely recommend these now these tubs I bought the tub themselves from Morrison's because I had found sequin mixes in Poundland so I've got like a pink and orange mix and you get an absolute ton of these, but they are completely mixed. So if you're looking for a specific type, these aren't the sequins for you. Then I have the silvers. You get some really big sequins in here. Some really tiny ones. You get such a mix in these. Then there is the purples. The really dark colours in this one. Again, mix of shapes, sizes, shades. It's the purple ones, so we're flicking them everywhere. And then you have the blues. Now the blues aren't just blue, they've got quite a bit of white and a few sort of greeny coloured ones in there. But again, you get in these really large ones if you want to take off and use on a scrapbook project. Then you've got the really tiny ones if you want to sprinkle in them in Happy Mail. These are really, really good value. So that's generally what I use these for if I'm doing a gift for somebody. Sprinkle them in the box or in the package um, as opposed to using these on layouts for things. So those are the Poundland ones. Then I have a collection of Gutterman ones. Now, in all honesty, I can't remember how much these were. I found them in a Hobbycraft sale bin. They weren't exceptionally cheap. I think they were £2 something. They come in these little tubes. So I've got flat dark blue discs. So that's the dark blue ones. And I've got the same shape in this like mint colour. This is stunning. Same again, more of a blue silver. So that's the flat discs. And then I've got some larger flat discs. And these ones are holographic. So you've got like a holographic pink, holographic gold, and holographic silver. Now I think these were on sale because Hobbycraft have started to phase out a lot of their Gutterman stuff. I love the Gutterman beads, and I've not bought any of the sequins before. And I sort of panic bought a little while ago because I do use sequins a lot at school as well so if I see any unusual ones I tend to pick them up and then I also picked up two vials of their flowers now they're a complete mix of colours I thought if I was looking for a specific one I've only got to sit and fish them up so those are the Gutterman ones and as I say I can't honestly remember exactly what they, were, what they cost me and then the rest of my sequins I have now sorted oh sorry hold on I've got two other things this little pot of Easter sequins that obviously come out once a year and then I've got this tub so you've got gold stars, silver stars, red stars and then the same colours in the glitter but obviously it was £3 from the works at Christmas 
and the stars are really really useful and when I've used them up I'll just take the glitter into school because it is not super fine but it's quite good glitter actually that's not too bad but sorry the rest of my glitter uh, all the rest of my sequins are all sorted into tubs so I'll start with my Christmas ones now most of these I bought um, I bought most of these actually because my children were making Christmas cards and I've bought a variety and then people gifted some and I ended up with an absolute ton of Christmas sequins. So this is one of those Anita's tubs that I was talking about, the craft organiser. I zoom in a little bit. So I've got these ones are all my snowflakes. So I've got red and white, so they came in a packet together. And there's gold and silver. Can't really see that. Oh, sorry. Gold and silver. Again, they came in a packet together. I've just sorted them out. Then there was blue and silver in a packet. These ones were um, Card Factory actually, randomly. Then there's more red and white ones because I'd already bought some in the Card Factory and then somebody saw them in Smith's and they bought me a set. Then I've got some holographic silver. I'm so sorry how noisy this camera is as well. And then holographic, like a more of a dark blue, same shape though. They came in the same packet, they were an absolute pain to try and sift through because they're quite similar but I persevered and then there's plain silver in the next two pots and then another two sets of plain silver but just a different shape so that's those ones, those are all my snowflakes as I say I generally take this into school and the children have at it and as you can see they're actually quite organised still the children are quite good actually and then the rest of mine are in here so you've got Christmas trees so there's the black, the silver, they were in a set the gold and the silver are in a set, and the red and the green. So I'm not get them all out, otherwise we're here all day. There's the red and the green, and they all look pretty much the same, just in different colours. Then I picked up some of the Hobbycraft... Oh, my goodness, sorry. I'm sure you're going dizzy, but I can't I'll be here all day if I try to do this by myself. Um, so these were the, the confetti. These were like 50p from Hobbycraft, these ones. I thought the children would like these, but they, they weren't so keen. They like the sparkly ones. Then there's... Holly leaves, Santa's, I do like this one, I think it's really fun, they really like putting this one on their cards. More trees in red and white, then there are two different types of, well there's quite a few, these are all reindeer along the bottom, so there's this style of reindeer, and then the rest are all this style. So these ones were from Hobbycraft, and then these ones are all from the Card Factory, and they came in different sets. So the black and the silver came in a set, and then the red, gold, and white all came in one set together. So that's those, and there's a few more of these ones, but the children used pretty much most of those up. So that's the rest of my Christmas ones. Then I have a selection of cup sequins. So these are all from various sets, I couldn't tell you all of them, I can't remember the name of this one, it was one of the Dovecraft ones, back to basic types, so you get the silver, the light pink and the dark, and the light blue, then you've got silver, pink, green and purple which were from the Bohemian set, then I've got random Christmas sets that I've separated and then the overflow sort of went in the mix at the end. These ones are from the Sweet Paris, the black, the gold and the, sorry the black, the red and the gold, and then the purple that's the overflow from the bohemian and the silver the green and the pink were from another dovecroft set and i can't remember the name but pretty much all of those came from the range the first time i went i kind of picked up a few packets but when you sort them by color it looks like there's so much more because this isn't that deep it's not very deep down so it looks like there's an absolute ton but this was actually the only one two three four five packets so there's not that many sequins in there just looks like a lot and then the final small pot are all my hearts so these some of these were gifted to me some of these I've bought and they're all again from all different places most of the small hearts so all of these are little ones so you've got light red and you've got burgundy hot pink light pink iridescent the green ones are from card factory then you've got the ones with the holes in the middle the hearts in the middle cut out these are Hobbycraft ones, so you've got the red, you've got the white, then you've got the embossed ones 
from Hobby Craft, the iridescent one. So you've got the big and the small. They came in the same packet, I've just separated them. The small iridescent, silver, gold. These ones are the embossed red ones, the small ones. And you've got embossed gold, embossed silver. And then these ones are the embossed purple. Oops, sorry, frame. It's a small one. And these ones, if I can get one out. These are the bigger ones. So most of these I got for shakers because the hearts themselves are actually quite small and they look really lovely in shaker cards. As I said, I did buy them all in one go. I've just saved a pot for specifically for the heart ones. So that's that pot. Then I have two big containers. So I'm going to zoom back out. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to zoom back out. Container number one is full. Got stars across the top, so in fact I am going to come in a little bit. So these ones, I I got these ones more for school because they're a bit too big for shaker pockets. So I've got silver stars, and then the same sequence in the black, the blue, the purple, the red, the gold. Then these ones are sort of iridescent, they've got like a purple hue to them. Very static these ones. Then gold, so they were either from the Hobbycraft or the range. I think they're made by the same company, they're just packaged differently. The range ones are packaged as Anita's, I think, and then the Hobbycraft ones are just Hobbycraft. Then the gold stars and the gold dots were from Morrison's at Christmas, and the silver dots came with one of the silver snowflakes. So then I've separated them, but the dots are quite good in the shaker pockets, they look really good. Then I've got the white stars. I've got flowers on the bottom, so there's a white flower, and then pink and purple. Then there's white butterflies, iridescent butterflies from Hobbycraft. Some multicoloured balloons from Card Factory. And some bigger balloons, again from the card factory, from their confetti section. So these ones are embossed with little stars on, if you can see that. And then it came with little streamers with them, but I put the little streamers in a bag. So I could get to the balloons if I wanted to use them on a card layout. So that's that pot. And the last one is not full up. It's starting to get there. So gold and the silver ones, these were in a set, these were in a set, these were in a set I didn't buy all of these, most of these were gifted to me and these ones on the end are holographic as well so if I can show you it's the holographic gold and there's the holographic silver and then these blue ones I got from a really random shop in Hastings when my partner and I were there they came with these really cool little like business cards, it's called Butler's Emporium and it was all sorts of weird things in there but I found those and it was 50p for a massive bag so I picked them up and there's some white ones that came from one of these sets I think it was the, the silver, the gold, silver and the white I think it came with and then because I'd run out of room with my heart one these ones from were from Morrison's at Valentine's Day they had slightly bigger than the ones I had already so I've picked those up and they've just gone pop, got popped in here and the same with the little smiley faces someone bought for me as a, as a laugh and they're really fun, I'm sure the children would love doing something with those I think, I think she said she got them from a card factory and they're just really fun little celebration bits and there's another set of sequins, these ones, that will go in here as you can see I haven't sorted those out yet so there is my select my sequin collection and the, the various different ways that I am storing them in all honesty that took me longer to share than I thought it would and I tried to whiz through them as quickly as possible if you do have any questions please leave them below and if not enjoy your week guys see you all later bye bye